All right, class, today we are going to start a new book in our digital book club. It's called Echo and it is by Pam Munoz Ryan. This book is pretty long, as we can see from it. So it's gonna take us some time to get through it, but I'll be reading it to you so we will get through it together. Before we get started in reading, I want us to preview the text since it's something new to us, something that we haven't read before. So let's take a minute to look at the cover, look at some other elements of the book, and make some predictions about what the book might be about. I'm going to insert a photo so that you can see the uh, cover very clearly. The first thing that really stuck out to me when I was reading or when I picked up this book was the title, Echo. It reminded me, of course, of the sound echo that we learned about in science class. So think about, try to remember what an echo is when we're talking about sound. When I think of an echo for sound, I think about maybe being in a cave or being by a wall, a really smooth surface. And then I say something, maybe I even say, echo. And the sound comes right back to me. So there's person, there's wall. The sound wave hits that barrier and what's going to happen? Is it going to just explode? Is it going to um, just kind of disappear into the wall? Is it going to go through the wall and continue on to the back? Well, if it is an echo, if the surface is smooth, en smooth enough, the sound, and hard enough, the sound might bounce back. so that the person hears it again. In fact, this can happen more than once. You might hear something happen again and again and again when you only said the word one time. With knowing this about what an echo is, I'm really wondering if there are going to be a lot of repeated elements in the book. That's kind of an inference that I've made based on the title. Now, looking at the cover again, I noticed this shape right here. It's also on the spine of the book. And I know that that shape is a harmonica. I'm gonna write that up here. Now, if you don't know what a harmonica is, that's okay, I'm gonna tell you. A harmonica is a musical instrument and you just blow through it and it creates a sound. Um, those, the air vibrating between the reeds and the harmonica causes enough vibration that we can interpret it as sound. So between the harmonica and the echo, I'm thinking that music might play an important role in this book. My inference is further supported by this picture right here, this part of the illustration right here, where there are three children playing what looks like harmonicas to me at the bottom. So I'm going to write three children. Um, and I might write musicians. Musicians. Nope, that's wrong. There we go. Musicians. Up on the board, because I see those three children playing the harmonica, I'm wondering, are they friends?
siblings. Are they in a band? Or maybe they're all taking harmonica classes together? I'm not sure and I can't really tell from just looking at the book, but obviously the three children are an important part of the story or they probably wouldn't have ended up on the book cover. Now, I would like to draw your attention to the colors and the color scheme of this book. It is kind of a dark blue, almost like an indigo color, and it looks like it's maybe just before nighttime. Then if I take off my best jacket, which I have this nice hard copy version of, so I can do, I see that maybe this is like a sunset as well, and it's really dark. And it looks kind of magical to me, just kind of, it's not quite realistic. It's not like a photograph. It's an illustration and it's really beautiful, but it's really dark. So based on these colors and what we've seen so far and, and inferred so far about the book, do we think that this is going to be a comical book, a funny book, or do we think it's going to be more serious, maybe an adventure or a mystery? Um, I'd like for you to make your own prediction and then I will write mine up on the board. So my prediction is that this is going to be a pretty serious book because when I think of um, the comedies, I usually think of like light or bright colors and this is pretty dark. So I'm thinking it's serious, maybe it's gonna be dramatic. So if you can think of another word, add it to your notes, um, but those are the two I'm going to write for mine.